In the end, President Trump did the unexpected, he walked away. A visibly deflated Trump began the press conference wrapping up his second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un by talking about anything else. He riffed on the potentially nuclear crisis between India and Pakistan. The violent crackdown in Venezuela. Only then did Trump turn to the subject at hand, why, after weeks of build-up, flattery and reality TV-style showmanship, his negotiations with the North Korean leader had come to an abrupt halt. There were signs, around midday, that things were starting to go sideways. A working lunch between the two negotiating teams was scrapped. So was a ceremony intended to mark the signing of a joint agreement between the two countries. Plans for setting up a liaison office in North Korea, which the two leaders discussed in front of reporters on Wednesday, never materialized. At around 12.45 p.m. Hanoi time, it became clear the summit was ending with no deal when the White House announced a program change and moved up the press conference by two hours, telling reporters the president would appear at 2 o'clock p.m. rather than at 4 p.m. as initially planned. Audible murmurs spread through the buses where the White House press corps was corralled en route to the press conference. The president had teased the idea that the summit would yield big results, But leaving without a deal was always an option under consideration, according to a senior administration official. Before the summit, the United States Special Envoy for North Korea, Stephen Bygun, told the President and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo that Trump needed to be able to walk away without a deal, this official said. The President did just that. He did not appear pleased about the course change, speaking in a monotone and repeatedly kicking questions over to Pompeo. Trump attributed the summit's collapse to Kim's demands for full and immediate sanctions relief, a concession the president said he wasn't willing to make for the partial denuclearization the North Korean leader was willing to offer. It was about the sanctions, Trump said. Basically, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. We had to walk away from that particular suggestion. Asked whether it was his decision to walk away from the negotiating table, the president declined to say. Sometimes you have to walk, and this was just one of those times, Trump said. While the outcome was unexpected, experts said they were not entirely surprised. This is Trump world with the president center stage. So it's not traditional diplomacy. The key issue is what happens next. He seems invested in a negotiation so stay tuned, said Joel Witt, a senior fellow at the Stimson Center and an expert on Northeast Asian security. The president's willingness to leave Hanoi without a deal came as a relief to some of his aides, who had expressed concern in the days leading up to the summit that the president, eager to divert attention from his ballooning domestic troubles, which flared Wednesday as his former fixer decried him as a con man, a liar and a cheat before a House panel, would trade major concessions for empty promises.